Hello folks, it's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be using the Hero Colossa in the Guild Hunt boss and this will be my equipment built on him. Always focus on the stats and not the equipment used and that is the proper way of viewing the build of any hero except for the four sets of equipment namely Light Gap, Gluttony and alike. If the hero is a crit type, the typical crit rate is between 60% up to 70% as well as the crit damage 60% up to 70% and the rest will be focused on the attack stats. Attack should be at least 20k or above. Whether the hero has passive stats boost or not, the recommended stats is still 60% to 70% crit rate and crit damage. But of course you can deviate from this if you have plus 3 substats which have plus 15% attack, crit rate or crit damage which is quite rare in this game. Now I will waste some of my resources for this test to upgrade Colossa to EX20 just for this video. This is not exactly a waste, but Colossa shouldn't be a priority hero for now. EX10 is already enough for him and I should be upgrading all my non S heroes according to their priority. Now that he is in EX20, Colossa has plus 16% more crit damage. Now let's compare the stats of Colossa to the equipment of Sunway. Sunway should be a full attack set especially on the main stats, but this is only a test. He does not need crit rate or crit damage because his shadow does not inherit those stats. 26k attack is already enough for this guy to be a DOT and that is very effective against bosses with huge life points. DOT means damage over time while in comparison with Skewer and Hattie, he is most likely a direct damage hero which is effective in PvP. Now I will test them in the guild hunt to be specific in the level 200 turbine boss. In this first test, the commander is Discar in which all summoned units can gain plus 35% attack and I used the divine prototype called 5th element which is in favor for the hero Kalaza. I put some way and Kalaza at the back row so that they can gain attack boost from Masrani. I also put Rez on the second row to boost the casting of the ultimate skill of Skewer and Hattie and this will be our basis for the damage comparison. I will just speed up the video so that I will not be bored to watch. At first, Kalaza is performing well in the damage attack as per data shows and suddenly, the hero Sunway instantly outsmarts the hero Kalaza. If you are a free to play player, I would suggest to use Sunway in any boss hunts because he is very effective and that is why I called him a DOT or damage over time. Data shows that Kalaza is not performing well and let's change his equipment and divine prototype or maybe the commander in the next test. Now, I will change the equipment of Kalaza to Gluttony Set. Let's sacrifice some crit rate and crit damage for speed and attack. Kalaza's doppelganger inherits all stats, but those doppels receives 200% more damage from the enemy. This means that attack speed is also inherited by the doppels of Kalaza and let's test if this is effective. Now Kalaza have 56% crit rate and 57% crit damage but with 22k attack. Let's compare this with our previous equipment. Sacrificing almost 10% of crit rate and crit damage, but we increased the attack by 1k. Now let's test if Kalaza works better with Gluttony set of equipment and we will compare this with our previous damage and a specific remaining time in Guild Hunt. I should edit this video to make it shorter, but it is a good idea not to cut any part of the video so that players will see all the tests that I made. 
Please watch the whole video so that you will understand better about the damage comparison. We will stop at the 41 seconds remaining mark and we will compare the previous damage of Kalaza and Sunway and there is not much difference with the damage with 5k difference on Kalaza versus the new equipment. Skuer and Hattie have less damage now that is because this is an auto battle and the hero Rez is responsible for huge difference in damage. Rez needs timing and he should be used manually in boss hunt battles. Now I will use Red Thorn Rune level 60 and this is in favor of the hero Kalaza and I hope he can outsmart the hero Sun Wei in terms of damage. Many are using Kalaza in the game and this video will prove which summoner is best for boss hunts. Take note that Sun Wei is a pure summoner which has no divine prototype for him while Kalaza is either summoner or hunter hero in which he can use divine prototypes of hunter heroes. I put more weight on Kalaza if he can chase the damage of Sun Wei. After this test, we will compare again and do the last test so that we can conclude which hero is the best. Now at 41 mark, still Kalaza cannot chase the damage of Sun Wei and let's compare this with our previous battles. As you can see, the damage of Kalaza increased slightly. From 79M to 84.5M up to 86M which is not significant. I will do the final test in which I will use Brynhild as the commander and Red Thorn Rune, all in favor of the hero Kalaza and let's see if Kalaza works best in boss hunt. This Brynhild commander of mine is my favorite in which hunter and energy heroes like Taylor and Natalus deal so much damage when I am using this. I will use this for Kalaza in which all of the passive stats are in favor of him. By the way guys, I made this test for players to see which heroes are more efficient in boss hunts. I already stated in my previous videos on which non triple S heroes are the best in boss hunts and you check in screen videos for that. For those who followed it, then congratulations. As you can see, Kalaza increased his damage slightly by 100k and what do you think? We will test again using Brynhild and other divine prototypes? We've done 4 tests and Senwei's damage does not change at all and Sun Wei won all the tests. That is why in my no commentary stream, I used the hero Sun Wei in the second boss of the ancient altar. So guys, it is up to you to decide. We have different perspectives and opinions, but the tests were evidence that does not lie. Help me improve my videos by subscribing and watching my new posts. Thank you and until then. Happy playing Eternal Evolution fans.